Gadget UK here again. Um, I just thought I'd do a quick teardown of one of these um, 120 in one carts uh, for the Neo Geo um, MVS. So, as you can see, it's just uh, four screws holding this in, and obviously, you're going to break your warranty uh, by taking this apart. I don't know if you can see it there, thumbs. Okay, just lift that now. I've um, got to lift it because of the sticker on the other side. Just carefully over like that. And then the first board just lifts out and is held in with, I don't know if you can see this. That connector there just needs to disconnect off that board. That's it. So I'll see if I can get a close up of this PCB. So you can see a lot of these um, prom chips, uh, well, the, I think the flash, flash ROMs, aren't they? Um, have been um, reclaimed, I think. That label says Sammy on it. Uh, various, um, looks like Chinese or probably Arthur from Made in China, these, but some Chinese labels and things on some of these. But they do look like they've been reclaimed off other uh, game carts or other systems, I guess. Um, and the interesting thing, I guess, is you've got there, I'm not really sure what they are. There you go, you can see that uh, it's actually an old era. Um, chip there. I'm guessing it's an FPGA. Um, I think that that's the program board. I mean, it says game board there in the corner. Uh, in the corner. I'm guessing um, maybe the other one's the program board. Actually, yeah, it's got the program code on the other one. Um, so I'm not really sure what the purpose. Uh, I'm guessing there's probably going to be. Um, I'm not sure where the ROM, the, the actual boot ROM, the initial one with the menu and stuff, is probably going to be on one of the flash chips somewhere. Not one of these, these are graphics ones, C, the C chips, I think, as far as I understand. Um, and then when it boots up, obviously, you know, you never get the menu. I'm guessing that this is going to, um, in, com in combination with these two, I'm not too sure about these because they say PCM. If I show you these other ones on the board, so you've got one marked there, PCM1, and the other one's marked PCM2. Um, again, same type of chip, looks like exactly the same uh, pin, you know, pin out and everything. It's in, Probably the exactly the same model of chip. More flash uh, ROM chips on there. Um, but I'd be interested to know the way they say PCM is this. My, my understanding correct that this is PCM audio. Are these supposed to be? You know, I wonder if they've um, emulated at the hardware level, I guess, with FPGAs, the PCM chips, and potentially this is why we've got two of these to take into account the different types that are required by these ROMs. I'm not really sure. I'd be interested if anybody knows more about this, uh, please post a comment because um, I'm, I'm interested. And one of the reasons why I took this, this to pieces, not just to show it because I haven't really seen one of these teardowns done before, but um, all the games work fine, but one game in particular that I bought this for, which was Nam 1975, um, it sounds a little bit glitchy in the uh, intro introduction part where you get sort of um, uh, the guy comes on the machine gun and stuff, as he sort of stumps onto the screen, you can hear the footsteps. But as soon as he starts uh, sort of shouting as he fires the gun, it's, uh, it sounds distorted. And I'm not sure whether it's a case of, um, you know, one of the images on one of these ROMs not being correct, being corrupted. Um, I initially thought maybe there was, uh, you know, maybe there's a loose connection on one of the address lines or something. And I know that you can see this. Can you see there's some joined pins there? Um, on the it's the same throughout, so there's a couple of join pins there. Um, I haven't looked at the pinouts of these, I'm guessing these are address lines. But that, I think this has been done legitimately. I think they've done this, you know, specifically. You know, that ROM only contains, uh, it's half used or three quarters used or something. And I think, this is, depending on how they've put the images on there, they've needed to uh, join particular address lines. Um, and it's the same throughout. I don't know if there's probably more on this other board. Um, you can see there, a couple of pins joined, uh, a couple of pins joined there, uh, but it's not on every single one, you know, some more there, some there, there, and it's always the, it's the corner point, so I'm guessing that that is uh, another one there as well, two more there actually, both of those, I'm guessing that they've done that, um, you know, purposefully, it's not sort of accidental uh, splashes of solder. Um, but on one of the others, I can't see which one it is now, there's three pins that are joined. Um, and I did wonder about that one, but um, 
Mm, not sure. Anyway, if anyone knows more about these, uh, you know, how these boards uh, work within the Neo Geo, let me know because these, uh, I'm starting to wonder if these, that's, you know, these are audio uh, chips effectively emulated in uh, at the hardware level with FPGAs. Um, I'd like to think that they're not, and they're probably used in conjunction with this other FPGA to route the address lines, and that's how this, these sort of things will probably work. It probably it's remapping uh, uh, via software, you know, running on the FPGA. Um, it's remapping the address lines um, according to whichever ROM you know you want it to play. I think, but I'm just wondering if, as I say, if these are hardware um, emulation of audio. Um, and that could well explain why um, the sound on the NAM is not quite right um, if one of these is not right. I guess it could even be not soldered very well because you know they're, they're quite dirty these boards. You can see the flux is still on there and you know they're just not very well done really but it works so I'll reassemble it and I'll just keep show you quickly what's actually happening on the NAM. Right I'll just try and uh, find the game somewhere near the end here in the menu. Works very much just like the the uh, one six in one uh, one six in one car. I've gone past it somewhere. So. The other reason I've got it is Ghost Pilots. That's a good game. It's also got Twinkle Star Sprites that you also don't get on the one six one in one. And Shock Troopers. And that was another reason I got this one. So plus four games really make this car worth buying. No, you'll see what I mean now as the intro starts. Just listen now. So it sort of went loud a bit and then it quietened off a bit. It's quite quiet there now. Very odd. But then the game audio is fine. As you can see, you know, it works. It sounds okay. Very odd. I'm not sure if it's a corrupt ROM, I say, or uh, what. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, see you soon.